Yo, what is up guys? It is Nick or the Notorious Fantasy back in today with another fantasy football video. This video is week five Thursday night football start or sit questions Rams at Seahawks going on just in a couple of hours tonight. Now, before I start the video, I'd like to give you guys a word from my sponsor, OverlayDFS.com. It's an amazing website, amazing people over there. Very fun to play on. I made a video about it earlier. You should check that out after this video. Tired of having to pick the perfect player at every single position in order to win at Salary Cap DFS? Are you tired of having your Salary Cap lineup out of the running to win money in the first five minutes? Does playing Salary Cap DFS feel like a job and not even a game? Want a fantasy game where pros with 150 lineups and computer-generated games can't dominate? OverlayDFS.com has a new revolutionary start-sit game for fantasy sports. They are the home of the single-entry GPP. How do you play? It is a simple start-sit format. Make 12 start-sit decisions from the 30-plus matchup presented, like you can see on my screen right now. A winner, lo or win, loss, or tie will be awarded to your overall record for each decision. Records of the top 10% of users win 9 times your buy-in. 12 and 0 records win GTD progressive bonus. All matchups are player versus player who will have the most fantasy points. Usually an 8 and 4 record is good enough to get that cash. Sometimes 7 and 5, other times 9 and 3, depending on the week. Make 12 picks on the matchup options listed. For example, in week 5 it could be Cooper Cup versus Todd Gurley, Adam Thielen versus Stefan Diggs. Carson Wentz versus Tom Brady, and many, many more. The object is to stay consistent and finish in the top 10% of the field to win nine times your buy-in until the stars align and you go that beautiful 12-0. and 0. Right now, if you go the perfect 12-0 and 0 in the $109 game, you'd win the progressive bonus of over 26 big ones, $26,000. They have buy-ins at all levels. If no one hits that perfect 12-0, and 0, the progressive bonus keeps growing and will roll over until it gets hit. It's like the super contest, but for DFS. Do not get shut out. Visit www.overlaydfs.com today. And we are back right now. Week 5, Thursday Night Football, start or sit. Decisions, Seahawks versus the Rams. Quarterbacks to start. Russell Wilson is an obvious start in this matchup. I think that Russell Wilson has been a top 5, top 10 guy pretty much every single game. Russell Wilson has looked great out there. He's using his rushing ability. He's using that cannon of an arm. And it seems like Russell Wilson will be in a high-scoring matchup this week. We saw it last week. The Rams versus the Buccaneers was quite the shootout. And I think that Russell Wilson could take care of that defense and play better than Famous Jameis did. I think that Russell Wilson is in for a top 10 week this week against the Rams. Now, Jared Goff gets the start, but he gets the eh. If you're in a deeper type of league, like a 14-team league, that's where I'd really want to start him. In like a 10-team league, an 18-team league, a 12-team league, I'm trying to look elsewhere for a different quarterback option. Now, you can leave down below your question, Jared Goff versus who? Jared Goff versus this guy, and I'll give you the answer for what I think is going to happen. Personally, I think Jared Goff won't be all that bad tonight. You probably won't regret starting him, but he's not going to blow up and score you 30, 40 potential fantasy points tonight against Seattle. Now for the running back position. I'm going to be starting Mr. Chris Carson for the Seahawks. Now I know Chris Carson has had fumbleitis in the past. He has dealt with that. And Rashad, and Rashad Penny is sniffing down his ass crack trying, 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 trying to get that job. But he's not going to get it. As long as Chris Carson can hold on to the ball. As long as Chris Carson is healthy, he will be the number one back on the team. And you have to realize that Chris Carson will get the opportunity. He played good last week. I think he's in for another good game this week against the Rams. Now, Todd Gurley is also a start. Last week, we saw he got very little carries, ended up scoring two touchdowns, got some passing work. I think this week, he will be getting more carries. I don't see him hopping in the end zone twice. Obviously, there's potential for that. You just got to hope that he scores a touchdown. He is a guy that is impossible, impossible, impossible to bench. Todd Gurley is one of the best running backs in the NFL, at least when healthy. Now, obviously, he's dealing with that arthritis knee, but we still saw it get done last week. I think it could potentially get done this week against Seattle, so He's definitely a start for me. Next position to talk about is the wide receivers. Now, every single wide receiver is a start in this game, or at least the ones listed. Cooper Cup, Robert Woods, Brandon Cooks for the Rams all start. Now, personally, I like Cup, then Cooks, then Woods in that order. 
Cup seems to be Jared Goff's favorite target. It seems like the ball is always going Cooper Cup's way. So I think that Cooper Cup should be able to have a phenomenal game tonight against Seattle. Robert Woods seems to be the guy that's like, he's going to get the ball. He is going to get that work. A lot of people try to bench him. They try to find a reason to sit him for some scrub running back or some other scrub wide receiver. No, you're going to start Robert Woods over that guy. Robert Woods will have a good night tonight. Brandon Cooks, also one of Jared Goff's favorite safety valves. It seems like if it's not Cup, it's Cooks getting the ball every single time. Short yardage situations. Also, Cooks has a lot of speed. Could be a downfield threat. Could potentially burn the Seattle defense, which is no longer the Legion of Boom of the past. Now, Tyler Lockett is a guaranteed start against the Rams tonight. I see him potentially being a top 10 wide receiver in fantasy football this week. He is a great target for Russell Wilson. It seems like he is the, obviously he's his go-to guy. He can go down the field. He can catch those short passes. He caught a shit ton of passes week three. I think this week he may be in for a huge workload again. Now DK Metcalf gets the and because if you're in a deeper type of league, yes, I would start him. If you're in like a 10 team league and your wide receivers kind of suck, then go ahead and start him. But he's more of a flex option or a deeper league wide receiver too, but I don't really love him this week against the Rams defense, but I would be starting him in certain situations. Next position to talk about here is the tight ends. We're going to be starting Will Disley of the Seattle Seahawks. Will Disley, potential to be a top five guy this week. I think Will Disley has proved the past couple of weeks that he is that touchdown monster. He is going to be getting the ball thrown to him in the red zone. The, Se the Seattle Seahawks have been able to touch or get close to the red zone every single game. They're targeting him heavily, even while they're marching up the field. He's still getting the ball thrown his way. He's not super touchdown dependent because he is able to get those yards, but I would, you obviously want him to hop in the end zone. I think he could tonight against the Rams. You're going to be sitting down Gerald Everett and Tyler Higby. I know last week and in past weeks, Gerald Everett has hopped in the end zone, but who knows? Maybe it'll be Tyler Higby this week and you'll be disappointed if you start either of these guys in any type of normal league. Now, the final position to talk about here is the defense slash special teams. Now, I am going to be willing to start the Rams in this game. Now, I don't think the Rams are going to be a top five defense this week. Probably more top 12, top 15 type of defense. But you likely drafted them in like the 10th round or something because you're crazy. You just go ahead and play them. They're going to be fine. But you likely would have been able to find someone off the waiver wire to pick up. You can leave that down below in the description. Or, or in the, not the description, the comments. I can help you out with that. And we're just going to sit Seattle. I think this is going to end up being a high scoring game. But I can see the Rams definitely getting the sacks and stuff to make them worthy of a start so thank you guys all for watching this video if at any point you ended up chuckling at any point you ended up enjoying knock one time on that subscribe button check out overlaydfs.com link down below in the description of that have a great goddamn day check out the live stream that's coming out in an hour 6 p.m est likely around then have a great goddamn day i love you all good boy